It's time, excuse me, it's time for Good Energy and I'm Dr. Julie at Endeavor Health and Chiropractic and uh, I pushed the live button a little too quickly than I was expecting. Um, today we are talking about how a statistical term, uh, degrees of freedom, describes your momentum, your movement towards energy to heal. So remember our healing equation, which you can hardly see because the curtains are open, um, is energy to heal equals good energy in minus stressors. So in my former life, I was a statistics professor and I loved it. I loved everything about stats because it just made the world seem clear. And the other day I was walking around, I was thinking, what about my old life could I bring into this current one? And one term started coming up to me and it was the concept of degrees of freedom. So for those of you who have never done any stats before, you don't have to worry about this. Um, degrees of freedom is related to how closely your sample, because when we're doing statistics, we're taking a sample and trying to see if this is something that the population has. The degrees of freedom are related to how close you are finding a true effect in your population. So the larger your sample size, the more closer it is to the population that you're looking at, the um, larger degrees of freedom you have, the easier it is to find a true effect. The smaller your sample size, the uh, smaller degrees of freedom you have, and the harder it is to find uh, a statistically significant result or your true effect. Uh, in other words, um, the more degrees of freedom is more representative of the population, the less degrees of freedom, fewer degrees of freedom is less re representative of your population. And another way to think about this is that the larger your sample size, the more confidence you have that you are finding the true nature of what is going on. And I thought about this in terms of the healing equation, and I thought about, well, isn't degrees of freedom kind of like your energy to heal, uh, or related to your energy to heal? The more degrees of freedom you have, the more representative of your true self you are. The fewer degrees of freedom you have, the less representative of your true self. So I'm not asking you to go out and do, you know, anything you want, but I want you to think about this in terms of the healing equation. So in just a very simple format, I woke up this morning with an itch. I'd gotten a bite or was detoxing something and I woke up with an itch. And as I walked around the house, I kept on scratching at it. But in my mind, I was like, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Um, and that battle that I had with myself because I had that bite, that itch that I had to scratch and my mind saying, no, you've got other things to do. We have to kind of shut this down was an example of degrees of freedom. So having a little bite on your skin is a degree of freedom that you have that you've lost because you are concentrating on not itching it. Um, if you, ha you have to isolate it. And so, yes, later on you don't notice it, but it's still there. Your brain is actually working on that itch, working on that scratch. And it's taking your energy to heal and focusing it on that little bit that's itching, that's scratching, that's hurting. And so that's another way to think about a stressor. This is stressor. And your degrees of freedom are reducing your ability to heal. Um, Another degree of freedom that you could lose is you forgot to sign or your kid forgot to make sure that you signed the permission slip for the, what, for the uh, field trip. And now you have to run out and drop this permission slip off at school. That is a degree of freedom that you didn't have that you could have put space for yourself. Um, another way to think about degrees of freedom, yesterday in uh, the Good Vibes Wednesday, I talked about solar flares and how our body picks up the magnetic energy um, that is added to our electromagnetic field on Earth when the sun has a solar flare. That solar flare, your body either has to take it and do something with it or it has to ignore it. And in ignoring it, you are decreasing your degrees of freedom. You are decreasing your ability to be your true self. So anything, whether it's an itch, whether it's 
something that you didn't complete, whether it's a task that you had to do that wasn't on, planned on your plate. And from a chiropractic's perspective, whether it's a spot on your spine that you didn't know that hurt, uh, frequently hurt in my office, I didn't know it hurt until you pushed there, um, that meant that it still hurt. It still hurt there. Your body was still spending a lot of energy making sure that one spot didn't bother the rest of you. But the fact that I could push there and make it hurt meant that your degrees of freedom were reduced. We could also think about it in terms of movement. If you can't walk very well, your degrees of freedom are reduced because those joints in your spine and your arms and your shoulders aren't moving the way they're supposed to. And so we can talk about it structurally. We can talk about it in your life. We can talk about it in terms of what's going on on your skin, a scratch, anything that your mind has to take time away from to block out or to isolate or to um, not make sure to make sure that it's not in your conscious attention all the time. That is one less degree of freedom that you have to do your job, to do your job to be who you truly are. Or if we're thinking about it in terms of the healing equation, that's one less degree of freedom that you have that could be put towards healing your body or could be put towards losing weight or could be put towards increasing your patience. So how does statistic relate, statistics, this particular statistical term relate to your healing equation? It's pretty huge. You can look at degrees of freedom in any area of your life. And if there are things that you can control, so of course we've got to go to work, we've got to feed the family, we've got to walk the dog. Um, but if there are little things like getting adjusted, um, making sure that you've got you know moisturizer on your skin, making sure that you have figured out some time for you to just relax and concentrate on uh, what's going on in your body, making sure you take time for self-massage, making sure you take time for a walk, all of those things are going to help increase your degrees of freedom and be a true representative of who you are. And so what I want you to think about is in your day today, are there degrees of freedom that are niggling at you that you didn't know about? Are they structural? If you sit into that hip for long enough, does it start to ache? Is there something you can do about it? Can you work on it? Can you do self-massage? Can you go get it adjusted? Can you ice it or heat it or put an oil on it? Is there something that you can do to take care of those little niggly degrees of freedom that are being pulled away from your body that if you had them, you would have more energy to heal? So take a few minutes, um, you know, if you've got a few minutes of time, think about are there things that I could do that I could check mark this off my list so that my brain doesn't have to ignore it? Because brain ignoring is losing degrees of freedom. Um, brain conscious and getting it done with gains you, greens, gains you degrees of freedom and gains you energy to heal. Uh, today was a little shorter. We're talking about something a little more amorphous, but you can talk about it in terms of structure. You can talk about it in terms of your family life. You can talk about it in terms of work. You can talk about it in terms of good vibrations like the sun. You can talk about it in terms of creativity. Anything that we've been talking about today or talking about over the past few weeks in terms of the healing equation and good vibes, you can talk about degrees of freedom. Know that the larger your degrees of freedom, the less little things you have bothering you. And the more you can step into your true self, the more you can step into your true energy to heal, the healthier you will become, the happier you will become, and the more, uh, more helpful and more sustainable you will have a sustainability you'll have in your life and what you're doing. All right, so just a reminder, uh, if you are a woman and you're looking to figure out how to apply the healing equation to being a woman, um, you can join the private Facebook group, the Healing Equation group. If you are unable to go to face, get into Facebook and you're just wanting to learn more about Endeavor Health and Chiropractic, check out, check out the uh, website www.endeavorhealthandchiropractic.com. This is for those of you who have friends that don't have Facebook. I post these videos on my YouTube channel as well as posting the Goodbye Wednesdays on my blog. 
on that website. So feel free to send them there if you want friends who aren't on Facebook to know a little bit more about what I do. And in the meantime, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you again uh, next Thursday. And until then, uh, have good energy and bye.